Hello, my beautiful water signs. Welcome to Real Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. This will be your end of November 2023 reading. End of November 2023. Did I say 2020? Yeah, 2023. I know I was trying to talk. <laughs> water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Let me get some overall messages for you guys. Let's see what's in the energy for you, okay? Water signs. Give me all these messages, Spirit. Beyond the White Light and Tarot, the Oracle, and the Intuitive Deck for Water Signs. Highest good. Thank you guys for all your love, your likes, your shares, and subscribe. Cross Watcher Energy to the channel. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles is here, okay? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Water signs. <laughs> we got the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Star, okay? So it looks like you guys are headed towards some type of abundance and your wishes will be fulfilled. I feel like Spirit is going to play a major role in your life with the Hierophant card being here, okay? And that's really good energy. It's like... um. It's like uh, Spirit is putting some ring of protection around you with the star energy here. You guys could be headed towards stardom for some of you guys. Or um, something that you've been hoping for, wishing for, is going to come through. Okay, on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles here. Clarifying the t Ten of Pentacles. Death to the... Ooh, something is ending. Page of Pentacles. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, okay? For some of you guys, I'm getting the energy of you're not, you're putting an end to the juggling with a uh, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Um, I have two of Pentacles to the Death card to the Page of Pentacles here. Somebody who's like, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of breadcrumbing. High Priestess energy here. That Look at you guys show up in the reading. Yeah. Cancerian energy here. You could be a Cancer. Have Cancer in your chart. Will of Fortune. This is Fated. Four of Cups. Something is unrequited here. You guys are going to bounce back, okay? But you're going through some type of ending as well in a relationship with the King of Wands for something. Um, And if it's not with the King of Wands energy, um, it could be um, masculine, feminine, divine, feminine. Take it out. Resonates. Flip your roles as they play out in this storyline, okay? Yeah, to a source. You're like making some decision. You know what I'm getting? That you're cutting somebody off. It's like your intuition is telling you that this, you know, it's time for some type of change. Will of Fortune in the upright with the four cups to it. It's like you're cutting something or someone off. Yep. For some of you guys, you could be um, putting it into some type of business that's not flourishing as well with the Page of Pentacles here. But you're going to financially bounce back. You're going to, it's like... Let me tell you the other thing I'm getting to. It's like spirit is like um, stepping in to cut something out of your life to bring something new to you. And this could be pretty painful. Yeah, when it comes to a Ten of Cups. Some type of family dynamic um, here. Ten of Cups. King of Pentacles. The Sun. And the Knight of Pentacles energy. It's like something has been illuminated when it comes to a King of Pentacles. In a family situation. The sun, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And it's causing you to go through some deep, uh, some deep rooted uh, soul searching here with the Hermit card, Virgo energy. Yeah, there's definitely a tower. Yeah, something is ending or coming to an abrupt end, is what I'm feeling like here. And it's having you. Yeah, Knight of Swords. It's, it's like ending fast, too. Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Wikes. King of Swords. Yeah, it's like something is very cutting here. Something is very cutting this energy. It's like something you found out, some type of truth, okay? Um, when it comes to a King of Swords energy, this could be somebody you could uh, be in a marriage in or some type of long-term committed relationship or you found out about something, when it comes to when it came when it comes to this relationship dynamic, 
or somebody could have informed you. King of Swords is some type of informant um, energy as well. Logic, yeah, I'm just telling you. That's the energy is here. So, you know, because the Page of Swords is not just gossiping and spying. It's also collecting data. And I put this card right here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Give it to me. The chariot. So like you guys are about to travel and have some type of forward movement and go towards your own happiness with the nine of pentacles here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yep, heartbreak. So something in this energy broke your heart really bad. Knight of Cups to the Six of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. Damn. So it's just all oh, this is. Mm. You're moving on the calmer waters. So you guys are dealing with, uh, I'll tell you what you're dealing with here. You're dealing with somebody who was, um, that you could have been giving to. And this person took from you, could have left you out in the cold. Yep. But you're going to get karmic justice, Libra energy here. It's just like it's like this person came in like like a thief in the night. I'm just telling you the energy. Like they came in night night of cups to the six of pentacles. Like you were giving to this person. That's the energy I'm feeling, and they took you for everything that you had, including your heart. Damn. But you're gonna recoup it back, okay? Oh, let me just pull the intuitive deck on this one, child. The stress of it all. All right, let's see what's going on in y'all's energies, babies. Oh, my goodness. Auntie Nina, so sorry you're going through this. And I know, and I feel the energy stroke of heartbreak. It's just like, why is this here? You guys, so what I'm ultimately getting here is that for some of you guys, you're going through a really a tumultuous breakup here in some regard. Yeah, it's like, um, I, I have the three of swords here. Ooh, spirit is saying you need to seek therapy. Damn. Yeah, it's like this person is uh, could be having you go through some type of mental conflict within. Sleepless nights and anxiety over the situation. You or them to get out resonates. Losing the very same friends that they flexed on you with. And this was my fault, but I blamed you. So, yeah, so you you guys are, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, you guys are dealing with someone who is very immature is also the energy I'm getting as well. Um, learning very hard lessons from their mistakes, ego death. This could be you or them, take it how it resonates, or they will be you or them, take it how it resonates. Uh, but it's Aquarius. Mm. You could have Aquarius in your chart, you or them. Somebody, I thought the energy, somebody kind of did you dirty. Somebody you was in a long-term committed relationship with. Yeah, and they definitely have you triggered here. Yep. They're triggered. Your strong vibration triggers them. Okay. And it says, I failed to learn the lessons. Now I'm suffering in silence. Yeah. It's like, I don't know why I have to say this. Okay. Normally, I would say this would be um, the, the person's energy. But I felt like this is y'all's energy. It's like you, it's like something you kept doing in this connection, um, maybe taking this person back, um, rekindling things with them, but they always showed you who they were and you just wanted so badly for this person to be your person and they're not. Yep. Yeah. They ghosted you. MIA. Yep. Cause you keep failing to learn the lesson. It's just like this person has been in and out of your life type situation. You're feeling like somebody didn't even love you the way they claim they love you. I have the four of cups here. The sun is like illuminated that this person didn't even have real feelings for you in the way that you, let's say that you was loving on this person real hard or whatever, doing this, that, and the third. And they were taking you for a ride for your money and everything, but you found that they were juggling you. Closed-minded, lack of perspective, very stuck in their ways, want to do what they want to do. The stars in the universe are lining and everything will be um, in your favor for sure but at the moment this is the energy hmm. water signs so 
I'm not going to comment, Phil, if this is your energy and what you're going through. Let's see here. It's like it's somebody that I'm getting the energy too. So it's like as long as you was giving to this person, everything was fine. As long as you were doing what this person wants you to do, everything was fine. But the moment that um, you spoke up or spoke against something, I don't know why I get that energy. If something was a problem. But I feel like somebody was gaslighting you as well. I'm getting this energy here because of the Knight of Cups energy, Page of Cups energy here. King of Pentacles is like this person could have made you feel like they had this, that, and a third. But they were only coming in to romance you, get what they can get from you. And then they would be off like a, in the night, you know, like a thief in the night type energy. Okay. And I'm, and I'm getting this. From this Knight of Cups energy, you know, that kind of Prince Charming energy, like, oh, everything is everything. And then, you know, you're doing, you're you're giving, you know, the Six of Pentacles is also an energy of giving. But I feel like this Knight of Cups was giving to two. You see this hand coming up here? And then this hand here? You see what I'm saying? It's just like, this person was giving to two people, but ended up leaving you out in the cold. Could have been for a third party energy here, but let's see. What is the spirit? They wanted to one-up you and failed miserably, though. Yeah, obsessive energy, obsessed or obsessive energy. They kept you in the dark with countless lies and illusions. Just like I said, this person, this is why the sun, listen, the four cups to the sun card. So this is somebody making offers. You know, this person could have been making an offer to you or to somebody else, but you could have found out, you could have. It could, something could have been illuminated that this person was making an offer to somebody else or whatever, but was scheming you. It's like they were taking from you to give to somebody else. Thank you. Ooh, child. These are fighting words. Ooh, what is it? What else, spirit? That's the energy I feel, y'all. They was taking from you to give to somebody else. Damn. Wow, spirit, intuition. You knew this, but you you failed to listen to your intuition. Now, why do these cards fly all the way across the room like this? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's see what we have, child. Yeah, you're releasing. Sorry, y'all, I had to get them. They flew across the room. They didn't want me to tell this part of the story. Yeah, you had to release toxic and negative energy. Yeah, this motherfucker was a master illusionist. What I tell you, you're spiritually gifted and they don't like this about you because you could have been calling them out with your intuition. Be like, you know, I feel like you effing around on me. And whoop de whoop whoop because why is it X amount of dollars missing? But um, I see purchases from Victoria's Secrets and da 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 Or I'm just, you know, just giving y'all an example. It's something to that effect. But you saw something. Something was discovered, right? Something was discovered with the Page of Swords energy here. It's like you found out some type of truth and clarity here. Queen of Swords energy. You can have Libra in your chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, take it out, resonates. But listen, Queen of Swords is a truth seeker. And let me tell you, whatever it is, you went digging and you found something. Ooh. And you confronted their ass. Hidden secrets exposed. Don't fucking play with me. I y'all saw me just flip that. Woo! Even my intuition is on point. Let me drink my little juice, honey. I promise it ain't no alcohol in here, cancer. Mm-hmm. Why the sign could be dealing with a cancer? <sighs> yeah, somebody's very immature. Yeah. Immature behavior, resisting change, regaining strength after heartbreak from them. Damn. Wow. Money is on the way this week, though, baby. So calm, calm down because if you felt this person too was taking your money, it's going to be replaced. Yeah. Too ashamed of the shit they did to you in secret, but it's being forced in spirit to tell the truth. Damn. I told you. Secrets, hidden secrets exposed. I knew it as soon as I said it. I can feel the energy. Like, so somebody has been lying. You found out that they've been effing around on you. They've been giving to some other bitch, male or female. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Cause you know, men could be, you know, bitches too. I hate to call people out their name, but you know, the energy we on right now with this reading. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not taking it back. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. This person was running around town searching for beauty and essence in others because when it was right in front of them the whole time, but this person did not appreciate you. Who is patiently waiting, spirit? That's what I want to know. What patiently waiting for what? What? What are we patiently waiting on? A reunion. Differences of opinion. Somebody wants a reunion with you. For what? Could be the third party. Spiritual glow up in finances, business, and in love. Yeah. So even though you're going through this heartbreak right now, so once you get to heal, because that's why the, the first uh, card that flipped was uh, you need to heal. Like whatever this is, you need to seek therapy or this person needs to seek a therapy or hell, probably a mix of both because you could be dealing with a, nar a narcissist. Yeah, I don't know. Just take it out resonates, child. Plot it's about to be a plot twist though. Yeah, and they're losing their shit. Oof. So some some type of plot twist is coming. Okay, Spirit, that's a lot. But this they said take it. Plot twist, they understand, uh, they underestimated your bounce back power to heal and recover. Damn, that's the plot twist. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, they caused you public communication and embarrassment. They were forced, uh, they were focused on greed and money. Yeah, because like I said, they were taking from you. They could have stole something from you. They could have stole money because you were giving to them, but they was giving to somebody else. See what I'm saying? Which caused, yeah, so they were focused on greater money, which caused them this, to lose this connection. New opportunity coming in for you. Yeah, this, whoever y'all dealing with is arrogant. It's, oof, I can't make this shit up. All right, so what's the, um, give me more messages for, for the outcome. Oof, the moon in reverse. Yeah, something's revealed. It fell right out in the reverse. So you you so as the time and the days go on, uh, water signs something is being revealed about this motherfucker. Damn, what is it? The truth. Yep, and you walking away. Damn, you are literally finding out the truth and walking away. Eight of Cups. Yeah, because the moon in the reverse, Piscean energy is something that's been illuminated to you something that so so strong that you can't even you can't even deny it like whatever you saw whatever data you collected whatever truth you uncovered you can't even you can't even yeah knight of wands yeah that somebody was fucking around mm-hmm that somebody was having an affair taken from you and given to that person this whole time Five of Swords. Yeah, y'all been fighting, arguing back, you know, behind the scenes. Give it to me. Yeah. And now you, yeah, you're moving to calmer water. Six of Swords energy. Yeah, because it's too much of a heavy burden. Damn. That's insane. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, fast communication. There's something that's happened quickly. Yeah, when it comes to this Two of Cups. Yeah, you regret ever getting in a connection with this person. You're a fucking empress. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm. Water signs. This is what I have for you, babies. If this is your story and it's resonating with you or whatever, um, sign up in the comment field below. But yeah, you found out or you will be finding out that somebody has been cheating on you heavily, stealing from you, taking from you. For some of you guys, I'm also um hearing um this whatever this person was doing as well was affecting the bit your business. So for, for some of you guys, if you're business owners or whatever, it's something this person was doing as well. They I don't know if they were stealing from your business or because of the public humiliation, it affected your business. In some way, take it out resonates. Um, you know, you guys know I'm not only take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if it don't fit, you must quit. But yeah, it's um you're dealing with a very immature uh individual here, uh feminine or masculine, take it out resonates, who just can't keep it together. This person is always about looking for the next best thing. And it's, but you know, I'm also getting something in this energy here. It's just like as much as loving and giving this, you were to this person, this person only saw you as, um, they only looked at you for what they could get from you, not from what they could reciprocate with you, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like they did, like this person never really had true feelings or love or whatever. They just went through the motions because, you know, 
they was, let me tell you what it is. This individual that y'all dealing with got, um, got accustomed to your hand, to you giving versus you. You get me? So the mistake was, is this is where I say, I feel like this is part of y'all, some of y'all's energy is because you, the way the connection started or was set up just by even looking at the layout of these cards from the tarot, it's like this person fell in love with your hand, meaning that you started off, you guys could have started off the relationship as cool as friends and everything, but you kept giving, 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 and never allowing this person to give to you or never holding me back to watch to see or wait if this person was going to ever reciprocate. And, you know, as long as they was around and, you know, going with the okie doke or whatever, I mean, not to sound negative or anything like that, but just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Being in your presence, being in your energy, you know, um, you know, they was, they was going to fake the relationship for as long as you was going to give to them. I'll say it like that. That's the energy I get from here. They was literally going to fake the relationship until, and then when you got tired of giving and not receiving from this person, then that's when you were met with conflict because this person never intended on giving to you. It's like, I also feel a, a chaser energy here. Um, I don't know if there's an age gap or something like that. Um, doesn't have to be, but there's a dynamic, there's something in this energy where, um, someone is constantly giving, but always receiving less, always getting the short end of the stick. And it's like, you know, it looks good on the outside, but behind closed doors, it's a bunch of bullshit type energy. Yeah. So... Let's see here. I don't know. For, for shits and giggles. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Emperor. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like I said. You were always giving four pinnacles, holding on to the connection, um, page of cups energy, always giving, um, you know, or this person would just give you little bits and pieces, but it was unrequited, four of cups. Seven of pinnacles is like, you were looking to grow with this person, you know, heal with this person, work together with this person, and, you know, emperor energy, boss energy here. This person could be your emperor. You could be married to this person or has some type of long-term committed relationship with them. Or you wanted them to be your emperor. Take it out. Resonates. But it's like you was holding on to the hope, you know. And they were constantly taking Page of, Pente uh, Page of Cups energy. They were going to take the love as long as you were holding on. But it was really unrequited. They were always bored with whatever the love that you were giving them. Take it out. Resonates on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Ten of Wands again. I shuffled these cards. Eight of Wands. Sagittarian energy. Now you're going to need the strength. Yeah, to come up out of this. Yep. Magician to the Eight of Pentacles. Third party energy here. I feel like somebody was also hiding, really going out of their way to hide the fact that there was a third party energy as well. Yep. Don't play with me right behind it is the lovers. Woo. Yep. That they was giving to. Yep. Now they're going to be under judgment for juggling you. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Yep. This person could have had a whole nother family on the side the entire time they was fucking with you. Mm-mm-mm. This is, and I feel like this has been going on for quite some time, you guys. So take the messages as they resonate. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Um, you know, if you, and if you're, if you were just still in the energy for some of you guys, it has not all the way unfolded or energetically feel, but for some of you guys it has. Um, but yeah, just be mindful, be careful because, you know, if this has not happened for some of you guys, it is in your near future, distant future. 
All right. So I love you guys so much. If you'd like to book a personal reading, um, please take advantage of it now while the book, uh, the readings are $25 until November 30th. After that, they go back to regular price. Um, um, and I may be increasing the price on personal readings as well uh, coming up in 2024. So I strongly suggest that you book yours now before that price hike. Um, it's been that way since I had the channel. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your likes, sh uh, shares, subscribes. And I will see you guys on the next one, Water Signs. Bye.